Hi everyone. Um, so I'm Tiffany. I'm a researcher at the University of Tokyo, and I'm excited to share a project I'm working on on building interactive pets using the microbit and machine learning. So what you see here is an example that responds to the sound of my voice. So when I see when I say different words, it reacts like this. Hey. Happy. Uh, Good night. Um, so today I'll show you Happy. how. Oh, today I'll show you how you can build your own voice-activated microbit pet. Um, but for some context, when I was growing up, interactive toys were really popular. But it was hard to imagine how I would get started building my own. Um, but nowadays, with hardware like the microbit and all of its built-in sensors, we have this easy and affordable entry point for people to get started. And one aspect that I've been playing around with is how to get more expressivity out of what the microbit senses. So, um, for example, if we look at the microphone, which I'm really excited has been recently added to the new microbit, um, different programming environments might let you sense things like how loud or how quiet it is. And while I think this is a really great way to get started, it doesn't provide a lot of freedom beyond that single dimension of volume. So, what if we could use sound sensing to understand not only how loud we're speaking, but what we're actually saying, what our speech is. And this technology of speech recognition is really powerful and it's in many devices and technologies like Siri and other virtual assistants. They use machine learning, which takes often a lot of engineering and huge amounts of training data on millions of words to understand what we're saying. But luckily there are some new free tools that make it possible for anyone to play around with machine learning without even having to learn how to code. And one example of that is the Google Teachable Machine Project, where you can build your own machine learning model in the web um, by capturing data of different examples that you want your computer to recognize. And then you're able to test it all on the web. So with Teachable Machines, you can choose from a few different input types. And today I'm gonna very quickly walk through how you will create an audio machine learning model um, so that we can construct a model that, or a micro bit, can then use to react to our, react to our voice. Um, so the first thing you need to do is you capture 20 seconds of background noise, and this helps you then just provide some calibration for the model. And once you're done extracting those samples, you can then add a new class, which is essentially, oh, you can add a class, which is essentially a word or sound that you want the computer to recognize. So here I'm adding, a, a bunch of clap samples, and then you can train the model in the browser and actually test how well, well it works. So here I'm just testing whether it could distinguish between my clapping and not, and I can add as many different sounds as I'd like it for it to test. This is actually me saying hello, but sped up a little bit. Um, and once I've trained the model and kind of tested and seen whether or not I'm happy with how it responds, then I can actually go and export the model. Um, when you export the model, you can upload your model to the cloud and then you get a link that you can then use in other applications. So that's how we're actually going to take what we created uh, using Teachable Machine and bring it in to an environment to program or a micro bit. So I uh, built a small web app called MicroPal. It lets you provide a URL to your Teachable Machine's model and then you can connect to your micro bit via Bluetooth so you can control the lights, and servo motor based on different sounds that are detected. Um, and it actually uses the mic on your computer, uh, so you can try it with any micro bit, not just the ones with uh, mics. So this is a basic demo of how you can prototype with MicroPal. Um, after you load the machine learning model, you basically get a bunch of different forms for the different sounds that you've trained, and then you can test it out interactively by controlling the motors, specifying what angle you want the motors to turn, as well as what the LED display should show. And the machine learning model is actually just running in the background so I can iteratively test as my voice is being detected. Um, so behind the, the face, the project uses two servo motors, a motor driver board and AAA batteries, along with basic craft materials, but you could actually just use it with one motor that you could connect directly with the micro bit as well. Um, so I'd love to find educators interested in trying out the, this activity with their students. Um, if you are interested, you can try out an initial prototype at this link, where you'll also find a guide for getting started 
uh, feel free to try it out and share what you make with me at Scientific, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what you might create. Thank you.